Hello oh, and welcome to another SketchUp tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a blimp in SketchUp. Uh, before we get started, we're going to have to delete our little person here. I've got Chris. Goodbye, Chris. You've probably not got Chris. You might well have Susan. But whoever you've got, delete them and we can get started. The first thing you want to do is look in Window and Model Info. And you're going to make sure that your format is on decimal. You are using meters and you have set it to a length snapping of one meter. This will make things much easier for you. Then we're going to go ahead and grab a circle and we're going to draw a circle. Now you will know how big you're drawing your blimp. Uh, you may not have the same sizes as me. I've decided that my blimp is going to be 4 meters tall and 12 meters wide. So that means I want a circle with a radius of two meters which means it's going to be four meters diameter and once you've drawn the first circle the second one is slightly more fiddly you want to get a real side on view and go back to that center point there and when it's green like that you can drag it out make sure you reach the edge there click so now you've got two circles make sure they are exactly the same size and intersect each other otherwise it will go really weird when you get to the next step so we're going to use the select tool select the vertical circle go into our tools choose follow me and click on the horizontal circle and boom we have a sphere nice use the select tool again select this sphere and before we do anything else with it we want to use the move tool just to push it uh, off this center axis so we want to move it do, do, two meters that way we want to move it two meters up again if yours is a different size you won't be moving it two meters you'll be moving it some other amount and two meters that way Boom. this will just make things easier when we come to put the texture on it later on now making sure you've still got your circle or your sphere rather completely selected you're going to then use the scale tool it looks like this if you haven't got it in your menu bar you can find it here in the tools menu and you're going to drag out your sphere now if you look down here in the bottom right you'll see the scale now I want a scale of 2 that means it's two more times the width it originally was. So on a scale of one, sorry, I want a scale of three. So two means it's twice the size it was. Three means it's three times the size it was because I want mine to be 12 meters long. Three times four, 12. Okay, then we can go back to the select tool and you can see we've got a lovely big blimp shape. It's a thing of beauty. We now need to draw a big rectangle. Uh, I will show you why, actually, because if we try to get our paint bucket tool and we select our new texture, I've got my lovely blimp image here. And I go to put that on, okay does not work it looks like that that is not what we want we want our texture to look good so what I'm actually going to do is use something called projected textures this is where you put a texture on a flat surface and it will transfer it onto a curved surface so I'm going to get a rectangle and I'm going to make a rectangle with the same dimensions as my blimp so that's 4 high by 12 wide again you can see the, the dimensions down in the bottom right there I've got my lovely big rectangle now just touching up against my blimp and I'm gonna use this I mean I'll close that just so I can show you paint bucket tool and you want to right click new texture now yours I think yours might actually look slightly different to mine, but you should know where to find the new texture button. 
new texture you're going to select that image set the size make sure the size is correct mine is already set to 12 meters by 4 meters but if it is not set to the correct size that is your chance to change it okay and it will show up in here you can click on it and click a paint bucket again and boom lovely the next thing you need to do is to right click and under texture select projected making progress you can then press the alt button on the keyboard and you will get this little eyedropper tool click on the texture and then go to your blimp click on your blimp and you should find that the texture has transferred transferred rather onto the blimp lovely so that's one side done now what we need to do is the slightly fiddly job of moving this to the other side so there's a couple of ways you can do this I'm literally just going to grab the move tool bring it over there four meters lovely and you also want to rotate this so we'll use the rotate tool uh, this again can be fiddly you want to find the midpoint there it is make sure that your little protractor there is blue so if it's green just move slightly down until it becomes blue so you're on the midpoint your protractor is blue and you're drawing a lovely big line to the end and you should then be able to rotate it nicely and it will snap into place once again select your paint bucket tool hold down alt click the texture then click the grey area of the blimp and you should once again have a lovely projected texture you can then select this delete it and there's your blimp looking fantastic uh, a couple of little notes I'll just go back when you first put your texture onto the ooh, excuse me when you first put your texture onto here if it's a little bit off center or a little bit small or a little bit too big you can go to you can right click texture and click on position and that will allow you to move it around like that uh, and you also got these pins on the corners so this one will allow you to scale and rotate it so if you want it on a an angle or change the size or position you can just do it like that and again you can do different effects with the different four pins but you'll probably only need that bottom right one if any you'll probably just want to reposition it like that okay so that is how to make your blimp in SketchUp the next thing you want to do is export an image of it and then paste that into a background but I'll leave that up to you enjoy <laughs>